Hi, it's Lynn from Lynn EC Designs. Thanks for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on to show you the last two cards from my uh, card class earlier this month. And I use dies that I think are very easy to overlook. The picture this dies, which are in the annual catalogue. They're on page 67 but actually they only show one sample there. You've got two sets. So one does circles and I am created these cards using Butterfly Brilliance. Uh, I haven't done a tutorial on this because it's fairly simple. Stamp the butterflies, die cut, and, and then I've coloured in, this is the spotlight technique, so I've coloured in with um, some of our lovely watercolour pencils. So I've done three different variations there. I will do a blog post so that you can see them in more, de more detail, but I'm not going to do a tutorial because you don't need to see me colouring in. Or do you? If you want to, leave me a comment and I will do a quick tutorial. And the other one is this uh, die here. And I've used, for, the, for class we used Penguin Place, but we used some of the free DSP that came during celebration, which has sadly now ended in themselves. So this was my sample. This was the one that I'd showed in class. And it's just, as you can see, it's really cute. But because the DSP is no longer available, I'm going to just use the stamp set today and the punch. So the colours I'm using, I've got some tux Memento Black for the penguins. And then I'm going to use Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, Mango Melody, Balmy Blue and Highland Heather. So we've got a, a base of Highland Heather and this is half a sheet of A4 scored in the middle. I've got a layer of white and a layer of Highland Heather and it's this that I've die cut the um, shapes out of and it can be either way, doesn't really matter. And I just love the edging that it gives. So this is the bit that we're going to have as the background and the easiest way is to pop that behind there and then with a pencil just to mark in each of the corners so you know where those are or each of those bits so that you know where you're stamping and then we just rub those bits out so i'm just going to get straight on and do some stamping and this is fairly simple stamping, I would say. So we've got some balmy blue. And I'm just going to put some snowflakes. I don't want to have anything in that bit there. But we'll put some more in this bit here. And it doesn't matter that it's going outside of that. I just didn't want to get anything in that corner there. So while I remember it, I'm going to quickly just rub out my pencil marks. And I'm using this rubber that I've got. Um, I actually use this when I want, if I've got any blobs or anything on my cardstock because it takes them out. I'm going to be a bit gentle because it's a sand eraser so it can peel your card. I've got another piece of basic white where I'm going to do some stamping. So let's do our penguins. Now if you're not very confident on stamping you could use your stamparatus to make sure that you get a really dark um, penguin and let's pop i'm gonna do three penguins and hopefully they'll all come out so ink it up well hold it down and pull it up 
always count to three. I think that somebody asked me um, how I how to stamp well because they were struggling, and I think it's just be a little bit confident when you put it down on the on your card. Try not to move it, and just one, two, three, and up. That one's gone a bit fuzzy, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to use these anyway, but I'm only going to use three on my card today. May as well while I'm here. Do more. There we go. And then I'm going to use Mango Melody. for the beak and the feet but in order to save a little bit of time I'm going to try and do these two at one time so hold on a second this little sucker there we go and then this little feet down there Oh, look how dirty my blocks are. Stamp those in one go. Normally, I would get my head right over the top of it so I could make sure it was lined up. But I don't want to... I don't want to do that for you to get my my fuzzy hair in the way and then before we punch those out think about what other bits we want and I'm gonna make I'm gonna do a bow for oops, a couple of those so that's either a bow tie or a hair bow and then it's Highland Heather and then Misty Moonlight. I just lay that on there we go, perfect. And then the last thing, which is really fun, I think, in Cinnamon Cider, I'm going to stamp a pair of antlers. Actually, I'm going to do a couple while I'm here. Save the sentiment for a minute. Uh, no, let's do it now and then it's done, isn't it? So, to the coolest friend ever really sweet isn't it like that I'm gonna get my paper snips paint those out of the way Position that now it's upside down so that way you can punch out without wasting too much cardstock. Now, Peppa Pe Penguins. Now, 
and actually if you didn't like those feet you can see on the punch there that they've got little pads there um, and you could just get some coloured cardstock and punch them out punch out nicely when I'm on camera anyway um, I think I said last week that I've got quite a, a few new subscribers so welcome I would love to um, know where you're from in the world so leave me a comment um, I really do appreciate everybody who subscribed you could leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up that would really help so those are those and I will quickly try and cut out at least one of these puppy asleep in a bed with me here it's just been for a walk with my husband and I can hear one of the cats having a funny five minutes hopefully I haven't brought in a present for us it has been known Notice that I'm moving the card rather than sort of this trying to move the card rather than the scissors. If that makes sense. Just makes fussy cutting a little bit easier. Not always perfect, but trim a little bit more of that. There we go. Now this is the tricky bit but I'll show you so I'm going to start there put the extra off didn't take that long actually I'm going to try and not edit this film quite so much usually spend a long time editing my films maybe I need to do a course on how best to do crafting videos but I really would love to know what you think about these cards I'm, I obviously get feedback from the my friends who come to class and they all love the projects I am knee deep into making Christmas cards at the moment as you can imagine can't believe it's November soon don't normally sub subject you to watching me fussy cut and it's very difficult for me to do it or concentrate and talk at the same time maybe I should start doing voiceovers again maybe that's the way to go so let me save the bits that I so I can cut them out later there we go 
fabulous so that is finished um, and what I did I just put glue around the edge there that over the top there and then we can pick out the perfect penguins or the best of the bunch there we go so what are we going to do we're going to have him there with his antlers And what makes him the coolest friend ever is a pair of sunglasses. So I've got a bit of basic black here and I'm going to create some sunglasses. Oh, I love it. There. Might do some presents actually. So is she gonna sit out front? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Tack that in there. I think she's going to sit out. With some dimensionals actually. Pop her there. Coming in with a bit of glue. Same with this tiny little bit of glue. And I'm not going to worry about attaching those. So give her. Oh. So for the bling on my original ones, I used some um, retired snowflake sequins. Trying to use up my stash. I'm sure if you're a crafter you can relate. Um, but this time I'm going to use some of the, what are they called? The subtle shimmer sequins that is are in the mini catalogue. So I'm going to put a bit of glue there and I'm going to put his head on a dimensional. I'll pop him there in the centre. Those sunglasses are so cute. My hands are a bit sticky. Cool, dude. Tiniest little bit of glue there. And I'm going to put... 
a bit of dimensional on the hat but I'm also going to put a little bit of glue there just a tiny little dot Ooh. tummy is rumbling because there we go perfect <laughs> That's superb and although that's bouncing a bit I'm quite happy with that so I'll get the card base just give that a quick score there I'm going to put that upside down the right way We'll run out of glue there. Always got spare. But you don't need much. I know I've said that before. You really do not need much. So that to me is quite simple and then we will just work out I want to put a sequin on there either side of that Take your pick tool, which the scummy end. Silver lines there. more never have too much bling eh so that's it for me today i appreciate you taking the time to watch this if you're not a subscriber then please do hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you get reminded when i post a video which is once a week see you again on sunday Bye for now.